Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 21 before going ahead with part 22. Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 22 before going ahead with part 23. Column 3 asks, the flow of blood in a large artery of an anesthetized dog is diverted through a venturi meter. The wider part of the meter has a cross-sectional area equal to that of the artery. Area is equal to 8 mm square. The narrower part has an area small a is equal to 4 mm square. The pressure drop in the artery is 24 pascals. What is the speed of the blood in the artery? So when I talk of venturi meter, let us roughly draw it. This is how a venturi meter looks like. So the question says that the wider part has a cross-sectional area of 8 mm square. That means this cross-sectional area is 8 mm square. The narrower part has an area of 4 mm square. That means this area is 4 mm square. The pressure drop in the artery is 24 pascals. That means the difference in pressure which arises that is 24 pascals. So what is the speed of the blood in the artery? So we have to calculate the value of speed. Just before some time we evaluated an expression to determine the speed using a venturi meter. Now in case of venturi meter also we will apply the same logic which we used to determine the expression for velocity while deriving it for venturi meter, we will apply the same logic. We apply Bernoulli's equation. So we can say that P1 plus half rho V1 square is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 square. We have ignored rho GH because again venturi meter is a horizontal tube. So it has nothing to do with heights. So from this we can see that the pressure drop that is P1 minus P2 is given by half rho V2 square minus V1 square where V1 is the velocity at this point and V2 is the velocity at this point. Now using equation of continuity we know that A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So we can say that from this we can write V2 is equal to A1 by A2 into V1. Now we will write this expression of V2 in this expression. So we can say that the pressure drop P1 minus P2 is equal to half into rho A1 square by a2 square into v1 square minus v1 square. So this we can write as half rho v1 square a1 square by a2 square minus 1. So this is the pressure drop. Now if you look at this question, in this question the value of the pressure drop that is p1 minus p2 is given as 24 pascals. Density is nothing but the density of the blood that is the density of the fluid. When, when I talk of V1, what is V1? V1 is basically the velocity or the speed of the blood which we need to calculate. A1 and A2, A1 by A2 is the ratio of the areas which is again given in the question. So now with this expression we should be able to find out the value of V1. So let us put these values. So P1 minus P2 is equal to 24 pascals which is equal to half into rho. What is rho? Rho is the density of blood. Now it is a given figure that is density of blood is 
1.06 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. Don't worry, all such values will be provided to you during your examination. So this density, you can put this value 1.06 into 10 to the power 3 into V1 square a1 square by a2 square. What is a1 square? a1 square is this capital A. This is a1 and this is a2. So a1 square would be 8 square and a2 square would be 4 square. Now a1 by a2 would be nothing but we can say a1 by a2 is nothing but this is equal to 2. Right? So we can write a1 by a2 square is 2 squared that is 4 minus 1. Now from this expression we can find out the value of V which comes out to be 0 0.125 meter per second. So this is the velocity of the blood in the artery. So this would be the speed of the blood in artery. So I hope that now the concept of venturi meter, Torricelli's law as well as equation of continuity, Bernoulli's equation, all these different concepts are getting clearer to you and you should be able to understand how each of them are related to each other, how they are related to each other. I mean, how do you apply Bernoulli's equation in venturi meter? How do you apply equation of continuity to Bernoulli's equation? All these things should be clear to you, right? Now, let us go ahead and look at yet another problem. The problem says the cylindrical tube of a spray pump has a cross section of 8 cm square, one end of which has 45 holes, each of diameter 1 mm. If the liquid flow inside the tube is 1.5 meter per minute, what is the speed of ejection of the liquid through the holes? It is somewhat like this. Let us suppose we have a cylindrical tube which has a cross section of 80 cm square, one end of which has 45 holes. That means, let us suppose this is a cylindrical tube, one end has 45 holes. These are the 45 holes and each has a diameter of 1 millimeter. So in this case we know that the cross-sectional area of the cylindrical tube is 8 cm square which is equal to 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Now when I talk of the holes, the number of holes is 40 and diameter of each hole, when I talk of the diameter of each hole, it is 1 millimeter. That is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Therefore, the radius of each hole is equal to diameter by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. This is the radius of each hole. Now, how many holes are there? Number of holes is equal to 40. Therefore, area of 40 holes. What would be the area of 40 holes? That will be equal to 40 into pi r square. So that is equal to 40 into pi into r square. That is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square. So this comes out to be 31.41 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. So the area of 40 holes let us denote it by A2. So the area of 40 holes will be denoted by A2 which is equal to this. And the cross sectional area of the cylindrical tube that is A1 is equal to this value. Now the question also says that the liquid flow inside the tube is 1.5 meter per minute. That means the flow of the liquid inside the flow of the fluid inside the tube. So inside the tube the flow that is V1 is equal to 1.5 meter per minute. So this will be equal to 1.5 meter divided by 60 seconds. So this would be 0 0.025 meter per second. 
So this would be the value of the speed inside the liquid. So we will find apply the continuity equation. So we will apply equation of continuity. According to equation of continuity, product of area and velocity should be constant. That means product of area and velocity through these 40 holes should be equal to the product of area and velocity inside the tube. Now for the tube, the area is the cross-sectional area of the tube and velocity is the velocity of the fluid inside the tube that is A1, V1. Similarly, for these 40 holes, the total cross-sectional area is A2 and the velocity with which the liquid will come out through these 40 holes that is A, that is V2. That is what we have to calculate. So V2 will be equal to A1, V1 divided by A2. Now we will put these values A1 that is 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 into V1 is 0 0.025 divided by A2 is equal to 31.41 into 10 to the power minus 6. So this value comes out to be 0 0.6 3, 3 meter per second. So this is the value of the speed with which the liquid will be ejected through these 40 holes. So I hope you understood this question was purely based on equation of continuity. So whenever we try to apply equation of continuity, what we do? We say that the product of area and velocity should be constant throughout. In this case, throughout would be the product of area and velocity when the liquid is coming out of those 40 holes should be equal to the product of area and velocity when the liquid is flowing through the tube. So that was the basic concept which we applied here. Now that we have solved so many different types of pro problems related to all those topics which we covered in the previous section, I hope that you would have got a better idea of all the theoretical part which we discussed. So now let us go ahead and look at certain few, I mean certain newer concepts. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.